Welcome to Undialed. We have a very special video for you guys today. So I wanted to do this for a while and now I'm actually gonna have the chance to do it. We're just gonna jump right into it. Normally we are like fire merch right there, fire merch, blah, blah, blah. But that's for the, at the end of the video. So if you're a real MVP, you're gonna hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, watch the end of the video and listen to our updates. But let's get right into it. So firstly, we got my, my booter scooter deck. Right her that will not stay up, but it will stay up in a second once everything's off of it. Secondly, we got these pedal pins, which we are going to be inserting into thy scooter deck and going to make deck pins. There's only a few people that do this, so I am gonna join that very select few. And I'm hyped and excited, kind of nervous. I don't know how it's gonna ride. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the brake off, grip tape, and the bars off so I can use this and we're not gonna have problems anymore because we have a wire drill so this thing is not gonna die on us like our other tools have before so I'm gonna take my scooter apart if you're curious on how to take a scooter apart there's plenty of videos on the internet on how to do that so we'll catch you in a second really fast some of you guys have been asking about dates for the USA tour we do not have them yet more information will be at the end of this video in the meantime while you're waiting make sure you comment where you live in the US and where you want us to come and maybe we'll come to your local skate park. Are you guys going to Paris? Yes, we are going to Paris because that is in the United States. We're also going to Canada because that's in the United States. Come on guys, use the brain. Completion, well almost. I'm kind of bummed to take this kangaroo grip off though. We got the deck, she's a little bit dirty but no, we all like dirty girls. My idea is that I was gonna measure it and make it all swanky and whatnot, but I'm literally just gonna eyeball it, just zigzag it, and however it gets on there is how it's gonna go. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do, just to, for my personal preference, I'm gonna put it diagonal towards each other, but I am going to make sure that there is one right here, which is the one I'm putting now, because that is where I catch my deck, and I just wanna be able to catch it and grab it without actually having to grab the grip tape. I've never had an issue on not being able to grip. I don't know, I just figured trying deck pins and trying something new would be nice. And if I don't like it, I literally just take them out. If you're wondering where I got this, I just went to a, like a, your normal bike shop. It was nine bucks. Pin Spank Replacement Pedal Pin Kit. It is by Spank. So if you guys don't have a local bike shop, you can order them online. It should be cheap. I bet it's even cheaper on Amazon, eBay. I don't know if you're, actually you'd probably find them on eBay. Do that, it's super simple. So if you guys actually wanna try this, like why not? All you need is a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than this so it can be tapped in. Then you got yourself some deck pin. It sounds easy right now, but I've been, well, as you guys have known from our previous Undialed videos that sometimes easy things are not easy. I'm gonna put one more right there. Hope I don't get crap for this, like the flip levers. You're not a biker. You can't ride these. So I'm just finishing up my marking and now I'm done. So put all the pins right here. Hopefully don't fall off. Oh, another thing, this specific kit, there's another one that doesn't have it, but since these are for flat pedals on mountain bikes, it comes with these as well. These are the ones you don't want. So these are the ones you do not want because this is the top and you won't really get much grip. And this is, it's just an Allen key. It's mainly used to go from the bottom and up like that. So it sticks out like that. Pretty sure you don't want a spike that big sticking out of your deck because that's just gonna annihilate your foot every time you land. Also hard to put it in. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna put If you can do this and put this in without cutting your deck, please tell me that you've done it because I, I will be very, very interested and you will get a follow from me. All right, first one. I really hope this is the right size. And if you ever mess up like I just did, just make sure you uh, get a bigger drill bit. All right, Clayton, where did you just go? So I went to Home Depot. I didn't wanna have to go and have the hiccups now. I don't wanna to have to come back, like get here and find out that I still don't have the right size, so I just bought all of them. I don't know, why not? Is that the chicken dinner right there? I think it is. It's a little, <laughs> little side of, of hut, hut, hut. Fingers crossed. Round number two. <laughs> well, that was hard. And hold your potatoes. We finally have it. Kind of, it's gonna take a while 
for each one to go in because this tool isn't the greatest tool on earth. But basically, the 1 8th bit was the best one to use. And once it's in, kind of just wiggle it around and it came out looking solid. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rest of them. You'll watch, watch me as I... Thanks to hiccups, you'll watch as I go. Probably in a very sped up process, I don't know. It got hot in here. So I had to take my jacket off, but I got one more to go. I'm, I got this pretty down by now. I've almost stripped out a couple, but we're all gonna make mistakes. And this tool sucks. There's probably a lot of you that are saying, Clean, there's a much easier way to do that. Blah, blah, blah. And please, please tell me in the comments because that would uh, that would be great for for me to know an easier way to do this. But it only took like 15, 20 minutes, so that's really not that bad. That's it. Just gonna get all this shrap metal off. But now my deck has pens. Boom, boom. So now we'll throw some grip tape on. I'm gonna sweep all this off really fast and sweep the floor. Actually, I guess I shouldn't do that yet until I do after I do the grip job. There's many ways that we can do this. We can either lay the grip down like so, and then just kind of push everything through, or take the pins out, because they're already threaded, take the pins out and then lay the grip and then kind of treat it as like a skateboard and you just like punch all the holes through it, you know, like weave them out a little bit and then put these back in. The third way is if you've seen how Will does his grip tape, he kind of just like cuts it up into random shapes and then just like places it randomly throughout. Placing it randomly throughout is probably the, the easiest way out of all of them. Probably the best way to get the coolest grip out of it. There's a few of these that went in really easily. I got them perfectly snug. I think that if I take them out and put them back in, it's gonna mess up the threads of everything and then I'm gonna have to redo it or something. So I really don't wanna do that and I'm tired. So I'm just gonna lay this thing down and just see how it goes. Cause why not, right? And there's a very important thing you need to do. You need to get me and Will to 300K on Instagram. So, go follow us on Instagram. Ah! This is the Root Industries grip tape. So it's like the Formula G Hell Grip. Yeah, I've actually never even rid that type of grip, so I'm excited to see how it feels. Look, my scooter has nipples. <laughs> All right, I goofed it with the other grip, but this grip, I'm not gonna goof it, so let's make this dope. Let's make this the best grip tape you've ever seen. I learned from my mistakes. I'm not gonna fail this time. Oh, arise, my son. Arise. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do with that. If you guys haven't realized, this is the same razor we've used for the past 360 undialed videos. This thing's a trooper, man. It's all bent up and I don't even know. I don't even know. This thing's seen a lot. <laughs> ah, it's like a saw on a razor blade. She's been done. It honestly wasn't that bad at all. I think the whole process probably took 30, 45 minutes, which is not that bad at all for uh, two and a half hours. But is that like, that's also me going to Home Depot, right? Yeah. This probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour to fully do. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, the pins don't have to be perfect. You can literally put them on however you want. You can put two in the back, two in the front. You could put one in the middle if you want. So if you guys honestly want to do this, I, I, Personally recommend it, cause why not? If you don't like it, literally take it right out and it's not gonna affect your deck in the slightest. For all the weight weenies out there, I know you're probably thinking, oh, it probably adds so much weight to your scooter. Well this, let's think logically here. This already weighs nothing. I don't know how much it weighs, but it weighs nothing. So I'd imagine that this also does not add much weight to your scooter at all. If anything, it's like one or two bolts, maybe. Pins that big. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now for the update. So as you guys may have known, Will and I just got back from New Zealand and Australia. We were doing a trip with Ruckus Scooter Shop. 
If you guys didn't see that video, it'll be up in the polls. It's a pretty sick video. I think you'll like it. It got age restricted because there's a lot of blood from me. With all our traveling, the, the past five months, Will and I haven't been home for more than a week at a time. So us posting videos is becoming very hard. Yes, we are still uploading videos, obviously, but we're trying to upload as much as we can. I know we didn't upload for like five days and then we didn't upload for like three or four days here and there. We're trying our best, I promise. I haven't gotten any really messages from people complaining and I think you guys understand so to all the core fans thank you thank you very much you guys are amazing and we also still have we only have larges and XL shirts available on the endowed website so make sure you go cop that a few of you may know we posted a picture on the endowed Instagram it is somewhere right here asked you guys if you guys live here make sure you comment below and there was I think there was like 10,000 comments so in this photo wherever it is, make sure you tell us, like if you live in any of these states, we are not adding any states because it's just a lot of time and we are on a time crunch because of natural games and we have SD12 and we have a, a bunch of other stuff to do, ISA, all that good stuff. We're trying our best to have a month out of the summer for you guys so we can come and see everyone and we're gonna have, we're gonna have special merch and a bunch of other special stuff that I'm not gonna announce and we're not gonna announce it for a long time until the day comes, but we're hoping for July. So make sure you comment below, let us know where you want us to come and if there's any cool skate parks or any shops that we need to hit up and that'd be great. So hope to see you guys on the USA tour because we coming through the States, boys. In a few days, Scooter Brad is going to be here and we're going to be doing some stuff with the vault. So make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be sick. We're trying to hit 100K. We've been slowly on that climb. So help your boys get to 100K on YouTube so we can get verified and get the plaque. You know, everyone wants the plaque. That's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you end up doing this. If you do it, tag at Undial TV in the photo so we can see it and we'll, we might share it. We will comment on it, all that good stuff. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys.